Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading for the week of March 17th through the, my goodness, the 23rd. Um, we have a full moon lunar eclipse coming up on the 25th. We're entering Aries season tomorrow. I'm seeing the three of wands, there might be something you're waiting for. Um, we have a Mercury retrograde a week after the eclipse and then a solar eclipse a week after Mercury retrograde starts. So. We're really kicking off this <laughs> this new astrological cycle with a bang um, and I want to tune in to see what your highest timeline looks like so let's do this if you want to enter to win a free reading on the 23rd put free reading in the comments and um, if you want to book a personal with me or anything else all of that information is in the description box below thank you so much Sorry, I really needed some water before I started your reading. You might need to also drink water. Maybe you're dehydrated or experiencing some throat chakra stuff. Um, what does my Capricorn collective need to know, Spirit? Please send any negative energy back to sender. Transmuted tenfold for the highest good of all. Archangel Michael, please bring clear messages through for my Capricorn collective. Mother Mary, please bring compassion to these messages. Amen, amen. So would it be? The High Priestess Reverse came out in Virgo's reading. Um, maybe in the past you did not trust your intuition. You were sort of stuck in more black and white thinking or really needing to utilize black and white thinking in order to navigate a situation. Oftentimes situations in the 3D will request that we um, use black and white thinking. I think simply just because the world is the way it is. Um, finding the middle ground has been a demonized position in the world of radical politics. So um, you may have been, like somebody may have requested that you choose sides in a situation um, and Capricorns are investigators and just very discerning um, for both sides. My One of my best friends is a Capricorn. She's just super compassionate, but she can also be very um, dismissive when it's necessary. So I think that this was a situation that you navigated well, but it brought something up in you about trusting your intuition. Perhaps it was a situation that you felt could have been avoided. The Three of Cups, um, maybe in connections like with friends, maybe at a celebration. Um, these friends are having a grand old time. I love this depiction. I love her braid. And then here's the High Priestess. Um, sorry, it's she has the crown of Hathor. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it on the floor. That was weird. I don't remember the last time I just dropped a card on the floor. Um, yeah, maybe you're kind of being a little hard on yourself for dropping the ball. Um, I was gonna say, she has this receptivity, this crown of Hathor, and then like the ball here it symbolizes the moon, <clears throat> um, or knowledge or consciousness. Ten of Swords reversed. So, there is a cycle, certainly, in which you have experienced some manner of betrayal, potentially by a third party who is or was a friend. Um, but this cycle has not yet closed out. Like, it has yet to be addressed. And it has everything to do with you navigating your intuition and your ability to, I think, lay down... The, she has the Torah in her hand in the High Priestess, and I keep being drawn to it. Your ability to lay down your boundaries, the laws of your boundaries. The, the high priestess I often see as divining the laws of the 
the boundaries of the divine feminine because the divine feminine is about receptivity and also submersion or like what's beneath because the veil is here and with this being upside down it's like you may have entered a situation that turned your whole world upside down eight of cups you are walking away from a situation that may very well be fulfilling in in so many regards but there is just something missing and it has to do with your intuition here like you are potentially betraying yourself without understanding why or how or self-sabotaging with the ten of swords reversed um because there is something in your intuition that was um blocked either growing up or as a in connection with your self-worth the outcome is the king of cups emotional balance potentially even somebody else like a scorpio somebody who is in their masculine energy who is very emotionally balanced and may um, bring some wisdom to you about maintaining this boundary, these boundaries for yourself, setting your boundaries intuitively and communicating them in a way that is um, helpful to navigating your friendships so that people don't cross those boundaries, so that they don't get crossed, so that you can reconcile if there was any strangeness, um, or at least reconcile with yourself um, and know for the future how to set that boundary. Interesting. So the King of Cups, again, might be somebody else, or it might be um, like an energy that you're calling on to allow you to really dive deep. And not that you're not there already, just be able to ground those watery energies in a more level um, way. Okay, what is the High Priestess for Capricorn? The Four of Pentacles? What is the Three of Cups for Capricorn? The Five of Cups? The Ten of Swords, please, for Capricorn? The Hierophant? And the Eight of Cups? The Three of Wands? Okay, it did come out, the Three of Wands. Justice reverse. Two of cups reverse. Wow. This is so interesting because you've been um, keeping something to yourself potentially with the four of pentacles or just really holding on tight to your security. The Three of Cups talks about a moment of over, over, fun with the Five of Cups that turned into a moment of overindulgence where you turn around away from these three cups, right? Because you don't even want them anymore. You don't want them. And then you find these two cups and your two cups is here. But justice is reversed here and there's a King of Cups. The Hierophant is grounding spiritual energy in the present, into the 3D reality. He is the transmuter, transformer of spiritual knowledge into the 3D. You have the High Priestess reversed and the Hierophant here. With the Ten of Swords reversed, you may have been um, acting, again, against your intuition, but like some sort of, acting against some sort of spiritual knowledge that you have. Like if you have spiritual knowledge, right? Like like energy healing techniques or um, meditation techniques or self-care techniques and you're not using them as a means to avoid this process of walking away from what sort of emotionally pleases you in this situation here. Um, you may be sort of waiting Or somebody to join you. Yeah, because in the Four of Wands, we have multiple people in celebration. But you may experience a, an injustice here. What's the injustice with the Two of Cups reversed? The Page of Cups, an apology? 
Look at this page of cups. He's very much contemplating this fish. Um, and another story for him is that this is an idea. He's not entirely sure like why there's a fish in the cup and he's not really sure <sighs> I'm hearing he's not really sure like if it should if it should be there like if you're wanting to apologize to this person or you're wanting to get an apology you may still be very unclear as to whose fault this event was or who deserves what in terms of like reconciliation. What's well, this is apology? Oh, the four of wands, look at that. So you do have the four of wands coming in. There's two women here, so friendship. Um, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting that y you may have been in a situation where somebody overindulged and like, there's two threes here, right? And um, got in between a two of cups. Somebody got in between a two of cups. I'm also seeing though, that you were sort of waiting for the consequences of this or you were waiting for this person to apologize, you, apologize to you for doing what they did. Take it as it resonates. And um, this apology occurs and you guys are fine. And then whoever the two of cups person was, who was like in, <laughs> in uh, this relationship, they end up being the one who like you and your friend decide like, or understand that it was like not, like that person was in the wrong or something. That's interesting. Like, that person was just not a good person anyway. Um, and it wouldn't have happened with, like, a better person. Like, this apology ends up... You two are, like, on the same page. Um, Seven of Pentacles reversed. And the Page of Wands. I was confused for a minute because the Page of Wands is usually somebody who's joyful and inspired... And this guy looks like confused. He looks like he's not quite sure what he's doing or where he's going, but he's going and he looks a little bit disgruntled. I think he's supposed to look happy, but he looks like he's overburdened by his clothing. <laughs> um, maybe he has many, he is the like, He's learning about the lizard, the standard of the lizard, right? The chameleon, the the one who can shape shift, but also requires like warmth. There's these three pyramids in the background too. Um, so you might be traveling or I don't know, there's something here about the three. Three pyramids, three of cups, three of wands, triangles, triangulating. You might be, yeah, triangulating what happened. I just have this feeling that you're hanging on to security and you're not trusting your intuition because some sort of overindulgence occurred and you're not even sure what happened. Um, this could, uh, and one of you might resonate with this, but like this could be a situation where you got like roofied by somebody, um, somebody's significant other. Um, yeah, somebody who made poor choices. So seven of pentacles reverse makes you, you feel like you're not really getting anything out of this situation or like what should have been a happy time for you. Maybe this was a birthday or bachelor party or some bachelorette party or something like that. Um, you don't feel like celebratory, but this apology is coming. There's all this wands energy here, um, or you'll give it freely as the situation arises. Sort of like, is, am I apologizing? And like whatever happens um, during this apology, it's like you or this person is like, oh no, it really, it wasn't even your fault. It was kind of like, it wouldn't have happened at all if blah, blah, blah. Like if that person hadn't 
put something in your drink or like hopefully not but if that person hadn't you know been flirting with you all night to begin with like whatever let's leave that person out in the dust and be friends or something like that um this is very specific so the king of cups why is the king of cups here five of wands ace of pentacles cool healthy competition um definitely a lot of fire energy you might be dealing with a fire sign or taurus um maybe this person who betrayed you or made you feel like it was your fault was a taurus huh but with this either words are exchanged or some sort of like minor altercation ensues where like things are clarified and then you all move forward um in teamwork to this new pentacle this new beginning ten of wands you may feel um overburdened by this situation currently but eventually you're gonna see with the ten of wands that it leads to this setting of boundaries that came with the high priestess sorry this card just left out knight of swords reverse um okay cool hopefully it's just like a situation where somebody got too drunk and said something they shouldn't have that would be like kind of the ideal scenario here um because there's a multitude of possibilities with darker um like shadows coming through and this is just a little bit lighter with the page of wands here okay um, sorry, so the High Priestess reverse does, again, indicate a need to set boundaries, and the Ten of Wands is a guy who sets boundaries. He's holding these staves to create a fence around his village and his community, and while it's burdensome for him, it's also worth every effort. Um, it, not a single wand or, like, effort is wasted, and you have all these wands. All the wands. Um, and you go from the Ten of Swords reverse, which is, like, Again, self-sabotage, potentially isolation, really like diving into your spirituality and realizing what it is you've lost um, in this community like fray that occurred here. And in this reconciliation process, you manage to become very emotionally stable. Not that you're not already, it's just more so like in tune with your deeper emotions, um, walking away from anything like less fulfilling and then making this brand new but also very stable beginning with a community celebrating growing abundance nine of uh, hermit sorry the hermit reverse yeah coming out of hermit mode knight of cups with a love offer and the king of wands okay so so many wands here you might be dealing with a Virgo, a Leo, um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus. I mean, everything's kind of here. Pisces, you might have Pisces in your chart, and that might indicate where the um, issue with the boundaries is in, in your establishing them somehow. Oh, what is the outcome? Okay, this one wants to show itself. Scorpio reversed, death reversed. So a renewal, a resurrection, Eight of Pentacles reverse. The Hangman. The Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Hangman reverse. Seeing something from a different perspective. Seeing something is faded, destined. Maybe what you thought was destiny for you or karma, like, isn't playing out the way you thought. Death reversed and eight of pentacles reversed. The star reversed. Six of pentacles. Five of swords. Swords. Okay, I have wands. I'm not really sure. There's more to this story than I can see right now. 
And that might be what you're understanding about this situation as well. And I think it has to do with another person in the background of like this connection, which is why this apology comes and you and your friend are like, oh, okay, it's all good. Like, we'll move on. It's because there's someone else here who is doing something behind the scenes and you're aware of it intuitively but you're not, you haven't been listening to your intuition. And I think this victory wand that comes out when you see what it is that's occurring here, you're gonna be like, oh, I knew that. I should have listened to my intuition. And it's gonna teach you this lesson to be able to allow you to embody either this king of wands energy and or this king of cups energy where you move forward with confidence in your actions and confidence in your emotions um you're moving out of any like shadow of a doubt of your your mind your emotions your intuition something about being gaslit is coming up as well i think in your reading a little earlier it was like somebody made you believe that you were guilty of whatever happened here. But when you look at it from another perspective, karma reversed. You're seeing anything that they threw your way, it's going back on them tenfold. <sighs> Who is this person? I saw a king of swords. Um, it might be that. There is also death reversed here. A queen of wands, the star reversed. Sorry, I'm gonna pick up the star reversed. So, the sun reversed and a child. Maybe a Leo, maybe this fire sign. So maybe this fire sign had a counterpart who thought you were getting in the way. Feminine energy could be masculine, uh, could be a male or female, I mean, but feminine energy. And she was mad. Um, but everything she sent your way is being returned. And star reverse indicates like she was trying to make you lose hope in a connection with this person. Even if it's just a friendship, the Empress. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is the Queen of Pentacles. This is a new deck for me. Queen of Pentacles, so this is you showing up here in your power. Queen, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands. You might be destined to be with this person, to be with this King of Wands. Um, your, you two, oh, he has, he might have a child by this Queen of Wands, but you and this person are like, supposed to be together or something um obviously take that as it resonates for your situation and apply it to like real circumstances um if somebody's not giving you attention and you know they yeah if, if you if somebody's not giving you attention and you're thinking that they're like for you or something that can be very dangerous so um keep this grounded what is this queen, this king of cups doing over here though? Like he's in the, in the death card. Three pentacles, a gossip or a third party. Somebody who said something, somebody who said something. They were listening, they were looking and they like got the wrong impression with the page of swords reverse. Five of swords, they said something like, because they thought they knew what the hell they were talking about and then seven of wands held their ground because they didn't want to be wrong. Two of Pentacles. Okay, things are coming into balance though. Once we get over here to the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. The Tower. Okay, this Scorpio person, they are the one who comes in with an apology. Oh my god, that was really hard to figure out. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It was totally my fault. I like thought I overheard this thing and I'm realizing it was probably not in context. But whatever this, whatever this Scorpio person did, 
Um, I'm saying Scorpio because we have the Tower and we have the King of Cups and we have Death. So it's pretty clear. Um, they misinterpreted a situation and it was from some like act of eavesdropping, whether intentional or unintentional, I don't know. But whatever they said led to like a sort of separation. Yeah, you have Scorpio energy here too, Five of Cups, between a friend group or you and your friends and even um, led to like argument between this divine couple, which could be this king and queen of wands. It's possible even that you Capricorn are just friends with this king of wands, uh, just, and you were like pretty upset about this whole situation because you didn't understand what, what was going on. So this person comes back with an apology and then you all can like reconcile and move forward better than ever. This Queen of Wands might take a little bit of like time to warm up though, because if she has a child, especially by this person, um, this King of Wands, I feel like she's not gonna be very forgiving and she's gonna, it's gonna take her a while to um, trust again. So if this is your friend, definitely um, give her the space she needs to heal and give her the reassurances she needs and um, do the work to heal and maintain your friendship because sometimes awful weird shit just happens and especially during mercury retrograde especially during like aries season nine of swords reverse yeah it's all gonna be good four of swords rest um it is all gonna work out it was just like a weird crazy miscommunication so capricorn i'm not sure who this reading was for it felt very specific it felt like it was for one person um, as my channel's expanding, more people are seeing the, I was a Scorpio channel for primarily like the last year, but as my channel's expanding, um, some people are seeing views here. So if you did like this reading and it resonated, um, please like and comment and share and subscribe because it really does help my channel grow and it helps um, the messages also um, bring in more energies so that we can do more generalized readings. But while I'm reading for like the one or two people who <laughs> who are tuning in, um, they, the messages are very specific and they're a little bit actually di more difficult to navigate. That being said, if you do want a personal with me, I would love to um, offer that to you. You can check out my Etsy. Everything's linked in the description box below. Um, thank you for being here. I'll read for you all again next week. Bye.